pictures. In this video in Photoshop CC 2014, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can use uh, grain and noise to create unusual effects, combine it with blurs and filter gallery effects. Right, first thing to do, just go to Photoshop and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm not actually going to apply the grain to the actual image straight away. So, first thing to do, I'm going to go to Layer, New, New Layer. I'm just going to fill the layer with something. So just just any color doesn't really matter too much. And now the key thing, just turn it into a smart filter. Basically, so it's uh, can be modified at any point. So you can, if you decide you prefer a different grain effect, then or noise effect, then you can obviously just change it. You don't have to go with what you've created earlier. So, okay. So once you've actually done that, go to filter, noise, add noise. And there are other noise features in Photoshop, but I'm just going to go for this one first and add noise. Okay, so that's that noise there, basic noise. And of course I could just go just here, just go and show the image, but I'm not, so normal. What I want to do next is I'm actually going to apply a blur to it. So I'm just going to sort of blur the noise. So noise is a bit more, then you know, that becomes a bit like cork, I suppose. Click OK. Right, so you've got this noise now. Next thing to do, filter. And I'm just going to go down to stylize and find edge edges. So now you've got this sort of very noisy design, sort of swirly sort of design out of that uh, noise. So now I can go to filter gallery. And I can actually run through obviously a number of these ones, but fresco, film grain, poster edge, they all create their interesting noise effect. And obviously you can modify the actual brush size, change the detail, click OK, and you can apply it once, apply it twice, change the actual. Right. Again, you've got a very noisy random grain effect here. And now once you've actually done that, you can of course, don't have to stop there, you can actually just go back to filter and stylize, find edge again, and you've got, like I say, a different grain again. So you can now go back into Filter Gallery. Maybe try a sponge. No, just gonna paint daubs. I always like fresco. It always looks nice that one. So click OK. Right, once that's actually done, you can now combine it with the original image. So just go down here, darken, doesn't look so great. Multiply, earn. And you can obviously just try out which one you actually like best. Screen, overlay, and of course you don't have to have to go with the opacity. You can actually just set that down, say 50%. Just create a subtle sort of grain to the design. Lighter color, lighten, and so on. Right, hope you found this of, uh, of interest.